welcome to All My Floss Tube Neighbors. I'm Chris and this is Chris Cross Stitch. And today is Tuesday, April the 12th, 2022. And this is Floss Tube number 45. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. If you are a new viewer to my channel, welcome. I know several of you have written in the comments that you have recently started watching the channel and I, I'm so happy to have you here as part of this neighborhood. I hope if you are brand new, if you've just found me, you'll like what you see. You'll subscribe to the channel, you'll click like, you'll ring that bell, all those things that you do. And if you are a returning viewer, you are the neighborhood and I am so glad to be back with you. I want to start off the video by just by clearing a couple of things up and, and, and offering all of you an apology. I have been doing this channel a little under a year. I believe in May we will have the one year anniversary of Chris Cross Stitch. And as I started in May, I did not have the experience of doing floss tube during the month of March, months of March and April. Uh, and it's been very, it's been busy, <laughs> neighbors. <laughs> I have to tell you, it's been busy. I am so sorry that I wasn't able to, to record last week. I, I did miss you all. I'm sorry that I feel a bit behind, uh, to, be, to be absolutely fair. As I said, I just don't, uh, I don't have the experience of doing floss tube during the spring. And my outdoor life ramps up at this time of year because of the things that I do in the garden, the things, uh, business thing, taxes. You know, it, lots of, there have been lots of things impeding me from stitching and from putting the time and the effort uh, that I normally put into each and every episode of Criss Cross Stitch. So I've, I've been a little bit lax with regard to this wonderful community and with regard to my channel, and for that I apologize. However, I will say I'm still real busy, and I'm not going to have a lot to show you this week, um, and I may not... I'm debating on whether I'm going to officially say I'm not doing a video next week or just see how it goes because I've got another busy week ahead. But I do feel after the next several weeks, um, probably in May, uh, if I can get through April, then things will even out. I will have time to, to, to put the forethought into what I bring you each and every week and things will hopefully smooth back out and get back to normal. I'm behind on mailing my giveaways. I'm behind on preparing the, the stitch along, the Mary Will stitch along that I was going to look into and, and have ready to announce. I'm just behind on a lot of things. So today is going to be a, an episode of resolution. I'm going to show you what I have stitched between the last time we saw each other. I'm going to announce the giveaway winners. We won't do a new giveaway because I wanna get all these out the door. Um, and I don't know for 100% if I'm gonna film next week, so I don't wanna leave you hanging for a week. Um, but we're gonna make it as, as normal of an episode as, as absolutely possible. And if this is your first time seeing me, go back, <laughs> go back, go back a few months jump in there and by the time you catch up we'll be we'll be smooth sailing so anyway enough of that on with the rest of the episode each week we start crisscross stitch by naming handstanding cat handstanding cat is the top of tiki tree of a thousand faces a piece of teak driftwood that is a object d'art in my oh i'm sorry french speakers i messed that one up an objet d'art <laughs> That sounds so Alabama. It's an object, the art. Um, it's a piece of wood I have in the bedroom. 
And one of my friends said that the top of it looked like a handstanding cat. You see different things in this. Uh, some of you see Scooby-Doo, Marmaduke, etc., etc. but we see a handstanding cat, most of us. And this week, handstanding cat is named by my viewer, Chocolate S'mores. Wow, that sounds really good right now. Chocolate S'mores. Um, growling stomach. Uh, Chocolate S'mores has decided that this week, handstanding cat will be named Mortimer. Mortimer. I love the name Mortimer. I don't know why I love the name Mortimer, but I think it's a hysterically funny name. And I thank you, Chocolate S'mores, for this week, handstanding cat being named Mortimer. What character is Mortimer? There's a character out there that's named Mortimer. You'll let me know. You are, you're so good about that. You'll let me know. Mortimer. So another thing that you should know is that, um, once again, Southern California has been schizophrenic in its weather patterns. Uh, we had, after lovely days of the weather being in the mid-70s and light breezes, last week we had a day of 85 degree weather, 92, 92, 85, and now it's back down again into the 70s. And last night, we had a lot of wind. And we were still having wind, which you probably can't hear, but it's, it's rather blustery, as Winnie the Pooh would say. It's, we're having a blustery day today. And as a result of it, I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. I went to bed at my normal time. I usually go to bed about, which usually one of these days I'm in bed by 10 o'clock. Um, I woke up at 1.30 because the wind woke me up. A big palm frond flew <laughs> into our yard. And it was just, you know, being like in a, in a wind turbine. I fell back asleep, I guess about at 5 a.m. And then I, my eyes popped open at, you know, uh, 7.15, which is my normal time. I usually wake up at about 6.30, but I don't get out of bed until about 7.15 or so. But anyway, I haven't had much sleep, so I'm bleary. I'm, I mean, you're getting me as, this is as good as it gets today. I just brushed the hair. I haven't had a shower yet, but I'm a clean person. I am. I'm, I'm not. It's okay. Um, but I'm tired, so you bear with me today. <laughs> okay, moving right along. So on to the cross stitching. Like I said, I don't have much to show you since last we, we, we spoke because I just haven't had, I've lost my stitchy bug just a trivium. But the only reason that that has happened is because my mind has been so focused on a lot of other things. And everything's good. I don't want any of you to, you know, you know I, think, I think sometimes because I am so open and I do share my ups and downs with you, I think that sometimes I give off the impression that when I'm a little bit removed, I'm in uh, the doldrums. I'm not. I'm very happy. I'm going through, this is a great, great period of time. And I love being out in my yard. I love working on the, but I'm just busy. And uh, so I haven't had much to, to stitch. I haven't had that you know, yearn to stitch as much as I normally do because I have been, my focus has been split. But let's show what I've done. Modern folk embroideries, amazing fruits of plenty. Um, this is a stitch along that I am doing with my dear friend Kathy at the Floss Tube Channel to Dye House. We are sponsoring the hashtag Still Fresh Fruit Sal. And the reason it's still fresh is because this was last year's Modern Folk Embroidery Mystery Stitch Along, a masterpiece chart, as I have said many times, and I do love stitching on it. I am behind dismally, but uh, I'm, I, 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 I just assume I'm gonna be behind on everything. I'm, I'm over apologizing for it. I'm doing what I can when I can. But I did begin the March section. What I've decided to do is fill in all of the, um, all of the, the major motifs and then go back and do the, the variegation on the background stitching. But you can see by this photograph, I've already experimented with how I'm going to use the pure variegated floss in this. This is a combination of three different flosses. There is the dark royal blue, there is a 
the, the background variegation, I mix a pure cornflower blue with the variegated thread. And then in accent areas in the design, I'm using the pure variegated thread on its own. And you can see how I'm doing this, this vase of flowers. And I just love, I do, I'm really excited about how this is going to shape up. I haven't done much since last you saw it but I did enough to, to see how it's going to lay out and I'm really pleased with it. So that is, that's my progress on the modern folk embroidery, Fruits of Plenty, the hashtag still fresh fruit sal, and so many of you are, are, are still working on it. Um, and I love seeing it still. I've been very quiet on Instagram too. I've just been busy, you guys, busy y'all. Um, so that's that one. That's one thing that I did work on. The other work in progress that I touched in my absence or over the past few weeks has been the amazing How Does Your Garden Grow Stitch Along. This is by Caterpillar Cross Stitch, a wonderful company out of the UK. So kind to me. This is a mystery stitch along and we receive the new section of the pattern on the 21st of each month. So I still have a little bit of time to finish this particular month's iteration of the chart, uh, if I get onto it. And I should be, this I think I can do, because even though there's more stitching in this than one would think, because it's a whimsical design and it's a lot of, it's more color block, there are not a whole lot of color changes within a specific thing, although those cabbages, well, the cabbages I'm about to stitch, they do have three different greens in them. Anyway, um, there are just more stitches in this than you might think. But I, uh, I have hope that I will be able to finish this section before we get the next iteration. This is, uh, as I said from the folks at Caterpillar Cross Stitch, who will be doing a Halloween mystery stitch along that will be announced and shown later in the month and I am going to have a code for you for that because I'm going to do it as well and it's going to kick off our spooky summer stitch that's the summer of spooky summer stitch um I'll tell you more about that next week or the next when it is ready to go actually I'll check that let me check that hold on pause I'm so glad I checked I'm I'm a little bit behind. see I told you I'm behind on everything I'm behind but the pre-orders for this began on April 7th, just a few days ago. This will uh, um, be released on May the 23rd, and uh, you, you will be, have time to receive your orders by May the 23rd, 2022. This is the Touch of Magic Stitch Along. All we know is that there's an adorable black cat, and there's going to be an adorable black cat needle minder that comes with it. Again, this is going to be colorful and whimsical and in keeping with all that Caterpillar Cross Stitch does. If you're interested in this, use the code. I'm going to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Chris Magic 10 for 10% off. Chris Magic 10. This can only be used once per person and is only to the uh, standard kit or the with the needle minder kit. So you can uh, you can choose to get the needle minder or not, but uh, that's the code that you will use. It's going to be a lot of fun, and this is going to start off, kick off the spooky summer stitch season. Hashtag spooky summer stitch, which is something I started last year, and is very very fun. So I'm excited about it. So uh, the garden grows, Sal. I'm I'm I'm. I'm sallying forth with that, and then we'll start that Touch of Magic stitch along at the end of May uh, when that one is finished, and it will be finished, I assure you. So check that out at Caterpillar Cross Stitch. They're fabulous. It's so funny because, you know, it, it, Sometimes I think, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to record my video and I, uh, you know, I sit down and I, I, do, I do it and, you know, it goes really fast and I'm, I, and it, but that's when I am on a full energy day and having, you know, maybe three hours sleep last night, <laughs> three and a half of good sleep and then the rest, maybe another half hour of bad sleep this morning or an hour this morning, um, I feel the tank emptying you guys 
<laughs> I've only got so much pizzazz in the body. <laughs> and it's fading fast, just like the color of my hair fading. Anyway, um, but I want to talk about some happy mail that I received. Um, and I am I'm always so touched by the thoughtfulness and kindness that each of you have. Uh, and I, again, I never expect anything at all, but it's always so um, appreciated and warmly received. I re received a, a, a lovely card from uh, our neighbor, Georgie. And Georgie, I, I'm not gonna go into the, to, to all that she explained about this, uh, which was a touching story, but because of our, our um, Dolly's Imagination Library Drive uh, last year for Ted's Change Jar and the fact that we raised so much money uh, to provide children with books. She had worked on um, a charitable book drive many years ago, and they uh, offered pins to to um, the participants in that, and she sent me one of them. And that's just so special. And and Georgie, thank you so much. I really I really do appreciate it. Let me make sure that I'm I'm telling this story right. Yes, it was a. Uh, it was, it was a project that she worked on, and hers was literacy, um, raising money to buy books for, for children, most of, most of which were given to foster care children, which is wonderful. Um, but she, she had these, they sold these to raise money, and she wanted me to have one. So, Georgie, thank you so much. It's, th this is so very special, and I, and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. My dear, uh, our dear neighbor, Sherry, who is the card sender extraordinaire, um, sends me holiday cards and I love receiving them. I received an Easter card from her. And not only that, listen. Hey, somebody loves you. Oh my goodness, who could it be? Is it Santa? I don't know, I don't think so. It's somebody else. Oh, what somebody could it be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody that's sort of furry and has long ears and a bunch of whiskers. You know, in my day, when, <laughs> when I was a child, these, uh, these um, talking cards were a new thing in the 70s. And at best, they could croak out one or two tunes. That's a dissertation. <laughs> but I love it. I love it so much and it's so adorable. Thank you so much, Sherry. I, I just, I, I, I appreciate it so much. And then finally, um, our dear neighbor, Myra, Myra W., who comes from brilliant Alabama, which was about 14 minutes down the road from my hometown. Uh, she is a dear viewer and uh, we've corresponded many times. She sent me an adorable card and uh, a beautiful kit and um, this wonderful Alabama project bag from Garan Stitchery, Garan Totten Bags. You, you're all familiar with uh, Garan, um, one of the um, sunshine stitchers. Uh, and this is wonderful. It has different um, landmarks and things about the state of Alabama as a project pack. The camellias are state flower, you know, the, uh, the Huntsville Space and Rocket Center, um, the northern flicker, which apparently is our state bird. I didn't know that. I thought we are the yellow hammer state, and I thought our state bird was the yellow hammer, but I guess it's not. Um, our state flower is the camellia. Uh, but anyway, this was just, just so thoughtful and so sweet, so, so thank you so much, Myra. Thank all of you for, for, for all of those um, sweet, thoughtful gifts, and just a very quick word about some things uh, about your de-stashed items. I have for, you know, the better part of a year been very willingly taking those things in to repurpose them uh, to use as giveaways here on the channel, and I will continue to use those as giveaways. But for right now, just for the next several months, I'm going to ask that you don't do that. 
only because I have maxed my storage capacity and I want to lower the, res lower the stock a bit. I want to lower the reserves and, and get some of these things out over the course of the next several weeks and months before I start building up again. So um, don't throw them away. Hang on to them for a little bit longer and uh, I'll, I'll announce in, in about a month or so. We, we'll see, As soon as I have enough room, I'll ask, um, I'll open that up for you to send those to me so that I can repurpose them for giveaways because those are greatly appreciated as well. I do not want to come across as being uh, unappreciative about asking just to, to, to hold off on that for just a bit. But I've only got so much room in my closet and uh, it's, 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 uh, I ha I'm very good at ut utilizing every iota of storage space that I have, I assure you that. But um, I'm kind of at the max right now. So thank you for, for, uh, for holding off on that for me just for the time being. And I'll let you know when you can start sending things to me again so that we can um, spread the love and spread the good stuff throughout this neighborhood. So thank you for understanding that. So on to the giveaway winners. We had three amazing giveaways from last week. The first is this. The keyword for this was book. This is the Cross Stitchers, the Cross Stitchers Bible. Wonderful hardback book um, with lots of tips and techniques and uh, little patterns in it. This is a wonderful uh, uh, thing to have in anyone's collection. The winner of this, Denise D. Denise, congratulations. You are the winner of the Cross Stitchers Bible. The next giveaway, another hardbound book actually, uh, Great Works of Heart. This is more of a, there, there, there are cross stitch projects in this, but this is a more craft oriented book. Uh, there are crafts in this book, patterns and such for things other than cross stitch. Uh, the winner, the keyword for this was works, and the winner of this, Carolyn Winnie. Carolyn Winnie. I hope that I'm pronouncing your last name properly. Congratulations, you're the winner of the Great Works of Heart book. And lastly, the third giveaway, this wonderful Haid Heaven and Earth Design Meditation. A beautiful rainbow colors, it's a, it's a mandala pattern. It's a big project, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And the winner of this, P. Miller Mack, Pam, I believe is her name. She is a frequent commenter and viewer. I love seeing her smiling face and her little icon there every week when she writes and says hello. So congratulations, Pam, you're the winner of that. And to all of you, please send me your mailing address to the email below, it's in the show notes, and I will get those out in the big batch of giveaways, giveaway mailing that I will be doing um, in the upcoming week. As I said, we're not going to, I'm not gonna offer a giveaway up because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record next week, and I don't wanna, and I wanna kinda get everything out the door, uh, and, and into your hands, those of you who have won a giveaway in the past month. Um, so, but congratulations to all of you, and those will be going out very, very soon. I'm very excited because the next time I uh, uh, record for you, I will be able to show you a fully finished object, which was finished by my dear friend, Artie, at the Vintage Stitcher. Uh, she finished my Prairie Schooler Santa for me, and she has apparently shown it and, and on her uh, one of her most recent videos that I've not seen yet. So as soon as I get finished with this, I'm going to go watch and look and see what my Prairie Schooler Santa looks like. So I'm, and I'm very excited about it, but it's on its way to me. Uh, you may have already seen it. You might have seen it before I have, and uh, I, but I will show it as soon as I get back. But I, I just adore Artie. She's wonderful. If you, every one of you probably watches Artie at the Vintage Stitcher, but if you don't, please go check her out. And Artie, thank you so much for taking the time to do that. I can't wait to see what it looks like. I know I'm gonna love it. I know I'm gonna love it. 
So let me just say one more time how much I appreciate each of you. Whether you are a brand new neighbor to the neighborhood or you've been with me from the very beginning, you are so appreciated and you do mean so much. I love hearing from you. You mean so much to me. And any absence that I might have uh, is not uh, a lack of my, is not evidence of a lack of appreciation on my part or a lack of wanting to spend time with you or a lack of truly loving this community. It's not. It's just that as we all know, life is a multifaceted diamond and sometimes we have to look at, we have to focus on the facets <laughs> that need dusting. And um, I've had a lot of those in my life lately. All good, everything is great. Everything is really great actually, but it has shifted my focus a bit from my cross stitching. That's gonna change. Everything, all pendulums swing back the other way eventually. So I'm sure that next week or the next week, if I don't come to you next week, you'll understand why. But the next time we see each other, I will have more things to show you. We will have either a neighbor's corner or a story time or a toy. It will be something, I promise. But I do appreciate you. I thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.